In 2007, Arnold Serafin and his dad were driving down the road when they saw a corner store for sale in Tarpon Springs. So they pulled over and they bought the place. They figured it was the perfect spot to put the next chapter of a long family history. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Bobby Lewis is on the road with a fourth generation cigar maker who's honoring his family name in a fitting way. So this is three generations of my family right here. Traditions tend to strengthen with each okay, so passing generation. That's my grandfather, his dad who was from Cuba. Which explains why the Serafin family is so passionate about cigars. This is it. This is the humidor. This is where the magic happens. Arnold Serafin is fourth in the line of longtime cigar makers and opened his Tarpon Springs shop, Serafin de Cuba, in 2007 with his dad. Maybe about 10,000 cigars in here. 14 years later, surrounded by all his favorites, he's rolling out something new. There's my dad right there. Um, and that's the cigar that we made for him. Ramon Serafin died in 2019. A piece of the family and the shop was lost that day. I can't believe dad's gone. It's, uh, we started this together and it's just, it's just crazy. Arnold decided it was time to honor the man who passed down his passion. And this was his favorite rapper. With a cigar of his own, named for dad. Everything has a meaning here. Complete with his photo, too. I mean, I don't know if he'd be too happy about it because he was a very humble guy. He'd be like, well, don't put my picture on. What, what the hell are you doing that for? And uh, I don't know. I think he'd laugh about it, though. There's history on almost every wall of this shop and on the shelves, from a 100-year-old cigar press to this 1926 cash register that still works. Ramon loved this cash register. His photo is even right here by the keys. But more than anything else, he loved the shop, just like his son loves. Son who still hopes that every cigar he sells is a reminder that it's about much more than tobacco. If they knew that, I want them to remember him. And uh, if they didn't know him, I want them to say, hey, you know what? It's a great cigar and, you know, enjoy it with your family or, or your friend and create a memory. That's basically what that cigar is about, creating memories. And those cigars then become even more meaningful. You know, you think of Ybor City as like the hub for cigars. Good to know in Tarpon Springs there's a nice family yeah. shop you can stop at. Yeah, and the story behind it, too. Arnold's son, Brandon, also runs a cigar shop in Spring Hill. They say they have sold nearly 100 boxes of cigars to honor Ramon.